Hey guys, it's Morgan with Moma Shell Makeup Artistry. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a winged eyeliner. I've had that um, asked a lot from some of my clients. So um, I'm going to use two different items here. One is a Mary Kay eyeliner, and then this one is um, by Toki Doki, and I actually purchased this. I like it because um, it has like the felt tip applicator. This is blue, so I'm actually going to use the blue underneath my eye because that's a trend for the spring. And then I'm going to use the winged eyeliner on the the top so this may or may not be a look for you but enjoy while you watch um, the easiest way this is also a felt tip um, so I'm gonna try to do this right here looking into the screen that might not be beneficial <laughs> uh, the easiest way to do this is try to make small brush strokes and what I'm gonna do is you can actually there's two options you can pull your eyelid up which I don't really uh, promote like pulling on the skin, but you can pull it a little tight. You'll go off of the bottom of your lashes, that line right there, and you're going to pull it upward. That's what's going to give you that natural winged look. And then what you're going to do is you're going to actually connect that. And this is one way to do more of like a glamour cat eye winged eyeliner if this is something that you'd want to wear uh, during the day. And you can see I partnered it just with like a very um, soft crease. This is nothing like over the top. You probably wouldn't want to wear like a full liner with a smoky eye. Uh, unless if you're doing like a glamour photo shoot or something for high fashion. And if you have a mistake where you feel like it's not smooth and you can see I've kind of done this on purpose so you guys can see. What you'll want to do is you not want to continue to coat over this, uh, you'll just start right here and you'll just smooth this out and make it a little bit thicker. But also remember, the more you go over it, the thicker this is going to get. So if you do not want to look like you have a lot of eyeliner on, be very careful. But you can kind of fix that mistake right there. And my lighting just totally changed. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do the other eye. And so just those small brush strokes um, are really nice. Get as close as you can to the lash line. That's number one priority. I already have my mascara on. Um, I would probably do this uh, prior to me applying the mascara. It would be easier. So just a little helpful tip for you. Um, but you can see how I'm just connecting that edge there. You can do this also with a pencil liner uh, and then fade it out if you don't want it to be as dramatic. Using a, this would be considered more of a liquid, but this felt tip applicator makes it a little easier. And so the biggest uh, problem that you will face is matching them up and making sure that both sides are even. Your eyelids are not even naturally, so when you put on eyeliner, it's going to make it look a little bit um, more uneven, I guess. So you can see that this one looks maybe just a little bit thicker than that side, so you can just come back and glide right over it and just fix that up there. And there you go. That's how that is. And um, one thing that I suggest is to make the eyes pop. So obviously I don't have on a lot of eyeshadow. You can wear it just as is like this. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of blue underneath my eye area. I'll start with this eye since you guys can see that. And it's not going to be crazy over the top, but it will make my eye color stand out a little bit more. So I'll go back and you can see the difference between the two. It's nothing drastic, but it's not as harsh as wearing a black eyeliner underneath the eye. I actually ordered this, um, I think it was through QVC or the Home Shopping Network when they had the Toki Doki line there. And this is made by a graphic designer actually. Uh, he created all this, so it's highly pigmented. His brushes are awesome, um, and they have really cute designs. So I'm a big sucker for that. He also makes these little eyeshadow palettes as well. So um, this is just a black. So if you wanted to kind of set the liner on top, even though it, um, it is waterproof, I go over it just one last time to kind of clean up any edges. And then I feel like this makes it a little bit more intense just on the outer corners there. And then take it in to the inside. 
And that's a basic winged eyeliner look right there. Um, you can wear this day or night, um, but try to keep it as subtle as possible with the eyeshadow colors. And you can play up your lip color. I've worn um, like a nice kind of bright pink uh, with no gloss, so it's more matte. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching the tutorial. And be blessed. Bye.